Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas with Good Citizen News as he attempts to exercise his right to film cops. But it ends up being interference with an investigation, which, according to frauditors, uh, is only a physical act. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. That really never works out for you guys. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Look, man, here's the deal. All right, tell me, boss. Just come sit on the curb. We'll make this quick, and we'll get you out of here. It won't take but a few minutes. We don't want to do. We'll make sure you're good to go. Okay. Can I uh, see your ID so I can find out if you're breaking the law or not? Now, it's one thing to stand around and film cops and uh, make sure they're uh, towing the line and not uh, violating anybody's rights, because that does happen from time to time with police officers. I'm not denying that. But now this, what Harvey Freebird is doing right now, is pretty much harassment. But of course, uh, with him, uh, this is just a Tuesday anyway, considering that, well, he gets arrested quite often for harassing cops anyway. I mean, he's made a career out of it, but just one of his many stupid life choices, such as being a career criminal. What's my ID going to tell you if I'm breaking the law? Well, that's the same thing you guys say, ain't it? It's, it's for citizen safety? Yeah. Citizen safety? It's yeah. for citizen safety? Yeah, just, just don't be reaching. Uh-oh, we got something going on. Yeah. Oh, wow. Appreciate it. Hey, next time just cooperate, okay? Don't, don't, make, do it the easy way, not the hard way. Later, in the void. They stopped his car the other night. Oh, he's got his hands up the window. Hey, we're gonna film for you, bro. You. You're welcome. Good old good citizen news. But you know what? I wouldn't call him good in any way, shape, or form because he's one of these scumbags right here whose parents probably dropped him a few too many times on his head when he was a child. That's why he acts the way he does. I mean, he just doesn't know any better because something got broken inside of him a long time ago. He's got his hands out the window. Don't shoot him. I got a question for you, good citizen news. Uh, why do you put yourself through this when you've got a family that you've got to take care of? I mean, shouldn't you be home with them and teaching your uh, children some good manners and morals and everything like that? I mean, this is teaching them that your, their father is nothing more than an incompetent scumbag to begin with. And uh, you know what? You're not exactly a... Uh, good role model at this point so i mean what will your children think of you when they're all grown up and realize what a scumbag you truly were
Jenkins had his hand sticking out the window the whole time. Well, gee, Harvey, I can understand why, because it is better to know where his hands are than where they're not at, because you know what? This is a DUI stop to begin with, and some people will... They just don't have any common sense when they're drunk, and they might end up pulling something out that might be dangerous to everybody around them. So it's a perfectly reasonable precaution, dude. But given that you're such a jailbird and you have no common sense anyway, I guess this kind of thing just flies right over your head. Harvey Jailbird, you wouldn't know what a tyrant was if one came and bit you in the ass. So, uh, in order for you to experience true tyranny, I would suggest that you go to North Korea. And the first thing they'll do when you arrive is make you bow down before the statues of the Kim Dynasty over there. And then, uh, while you're enjoying your short visit to North Korea, you're gonna have some minders there who will follow you around everywhere you go. Just so you don't go into areas of the country that, well, they don't want you there. Once you go to North Korea, you'll appreciate the United States a whole lot more. You're just tired, man. Some bullshit. Ask for your lawyer, man. If you want to keep interjecting, you can I'm not interjecting, man. You keep your mouth shut. I'm not interjecting with nothing. Speaking is not interference. Speaking is not interference, man. Subsection D of the Penal Code, Texas Penal Code 38.15, Subsection D, talking is not interference. Now, I wouldn't take any advice, legal advice from Harvey Jailbird, considering the amount of times he's been arrested over this kind of thing. Because you know what? A good prosecutor could turn that uh, argument right against you in a court. So you might want to retract that statement because it could come back to bite you in the ass one day. Or what? Put it up. You're making a big mistake, Gardner. You just fucked up, Gardner. Calling me gas right now. Hey Gardner, you're gonna be with Caldwell next week. Really speaks to a man's character that he would much rather spend a night out getting arrested rather than spending time with his family. I mean it is a real shame that you do this to your family. I'm sure your children must be wondering, where's daddy? Where's daddy? Is he going to come home tonight? Oh, no. His, uh, no, children. His, uh, I mean, your father's in the slammer. He's going to be spending the night with Bubba and the boys. She's live. Absolutely. Yeah. You just fucked up, Gardner. is not interference. He just fucked up. Hey, fucked up big time. Hey, I'll be down there. I'll get you out. Call, hey, call the only got an officer while he's conducting a separate investigation. He is absolutely. Oh, oh. That is not interference. Speech not is not interference. interference. Did you dude. get that? Speech Inter is not interference. Yeah, he said he just admitted he speech. He just admitted speech is interference. Man, that guy is very dumb. Piece of shit. You're a dumb motherfucker. It's you know, free speech, bro. 
You're going to be sitting on the couch with Gar right now. We call well next week. Yep. Loser. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Yeah, Good Citizen News is a real example of what a loser is. I mean, all he ever does lately is get arrested. Well, that's all he ever does. That's all he's ever good for is an arrest video. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.